Joining us now is Sheriff Richard Mack. He's a former sheriff of Graham County, Arizona, also a longtime crusader for freedom and individual rights. And, uh, you know, I, I guess got to ask you a sense, you know, from law enforcement and the people you talk to, Sheriff, there in Arizona, the mood in the country is very much concerned about the future. Do you get that sense where you are, too? Well, yes, and, uh, you know, I, I speak at Tea Party groups all over the country, and, and I'm uh, meeting with sheriffs and law enforcement officers all over the country, and I deal with people on a regular basis uh, in the political process. And I, I believe that, and I feel that, and I hear that, but I, I believe that Congress is also, uh, you know, ahead of Barack Obama in a lot of these problems. Uh, the lowest the lowest congressional approval rating in the history of our country uh, is sitting right there on the laps of Congress. And, and so there's plenty of uh, blame to spread around all throughout Washington, D.C. Absolutely. And by the way, speaking of um, in this same CBS New York Times poll, which I was just quoting from, one of the other things, the question is, who has a strong jobs plan? And 56 percent said that President Barack Obama is lacking a strong jobs plan. That sounds like bad news. But as you point out, when they ask about congressional the Congress, Congressional GOP, who is lacking? How much percent do you believe of the overall population when you're talking? What is the sentiment against them? Obama gets 56 percent in terms of lacking a plan. A congressional GOPers get 71 <laughs> percent. So as you're pointing out, people are just as this illusion, obviously more with Congress. Um, is there a sense that anyone's going to be able to turn this around, Sheriff? Uh, my message is uh, that the states need to do it, and, and even the counties. Uh, I believe that the corruption of Washington, D.C. can be stopped, but not in Washington, D.C. Uh, my message is, is that the sheriffs and county commissions and city councils and school boards have got to start cutting ties with Washington and erect barriers, as James Madison put it, erect barriers to uh, to the encroachments of the national authority. That's a direct quote from James Madison. State sovereignty is what I sued the Clinton administration on when I was sheriff in Arizona, and I won. And, and I won on the issue that the federal government cannot tell us what to do. And so my, my whole message is the President of the United States has no authority to tell the states what to do. That's exactly what ju- uh, Judge uh, Justice Scalia said in my decision. It's the Mac Prince case. If anybody wants to look at it, it's on my website at SheriffMac.com. And the key point of this entire lawsuit was that Congress, President, the federal government, uh, were intended to remain impotent by our Constitution. And we have allowed the money game of Washington, D.C. to kind of take over the states and to take over our land and our water and our health care and, and you our feel, education. Do you, and do you feel like, Sheriff, that's gotten worse in recent years, or is that sort of more of the same uh, system that's been in place for a while? No, it's getting worse. Uh, you know, Clinton uh, certainly pushed it uh, and pushed the envelope, and then Bush made that worse. And now Barack, uh, Barack Obama has taken both of what the horrible things both those presidents were doing and took it to the 10th power, and that really created the, the Tea Party movement. And, you know, you're seeing this Occupy Now at, 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 in New York and Washington, D.C., and Detroit and other places across the country is quite comical because, as you alluded to when at the beginning of the show, Barack Obama has been taking more money from, from Wall Street than anybody, but he also has given more money to Wall Street. And so how they're playing that back and forth, Barack Obama gives them bailout money from taxpayers, and then they turn right around and donate to his campaign and help him with anything else. And I, what I find really disgusting is not just that we have an IRS in this country, but that we have Wall Street millionaires who donate to the campaigns of both the Democrats and Republicans in the same race. Right. It is. It is. And by the way, you know, what do you think of the whole contrast, Sheriff Mack? You know, you're sitting there and you're looking at these protests, which, by the way, there's been more and more problems. I know in Oakland and some other places of late. Right. Um, that's a hard thing to keep a handle on, isn't it? It really is. And, you know, especially when you find out that when they start interviewing uh, some of the protesters, that they don't even know why they're there. I can guarantee you that will not happen at any Tea Party rally. The Tea Party people know why they're there. They know what they want. And the bottom line on the Tea Party movement, and again, I've been to over 125 Tea Party events. I'm going to the Florida State Tea wow. Party 
rally on November uh, 4th and 5th of this uh, coming month, that the whole thing is when public officials swear in God's name to uphold and defend the United States Constitution, the President of the United States, all the way uh, down to the dog catchers locally, they all swear an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution. The Tea Party people are waiting to see the evidence that there's actually some public officials that keep that oath. Yeah, and do you think they will? I mean, do, are, do you have any confidence that any of them will? Uh, I'm starting to get confidence in uh, uh, quite a few sheriffs. There's quite a few sheriffs that are standing up for what's right. In fact, just recently, 10 sheriffs in Arizona held a press conference and asked for the resignation of one Eric Holder, who's responsible for not only perjury, but for allowing guns, assault rifles, to get in the hands of uh, car- drug cartels in Mexico. Uh, this is an outrage. It is a scandal worse than Watergate, but we still don't have the media just catching on to this like they did Watergate. Yeah, and why is it? Why do you think the much of the media is sort of slow to act on that? I mean, we're seeing some <laughs> from the liberal press. They're they're mentioning it, but it's not the focal point. Well, in in fact, if you see any liberal <laughs> uh, commentators like Chris Matthews, I haven't heard him say anything about it. I've been on the Chris Matthews show, and uh, he seems just to be. Uh, a hack for uh, whatever Democrats closest to him or however he gets his latest tingle up his leg uh, from Barack Obama. I mean, that's his famous quote. Uh, and, you know, that he survived it is amazing to me. But this whole thing about the media giving a free pass to uh, Barack Obama still is just amazing to me. And Barack Obama promised us that he would have the most transparent presidency in the history of our country. And yet he it's been nothing even close to that. And he says he knew nothing about Fast and Furious. Well, he should have known about it. And we already know that Eric Holder did know about it and lied to Congress about it. And so, you know, they should be asking, if we have a private investigation or an independent investigation on Bill Clinton having an affair with Monica Lewinsky, then shouldn't we have an investigation on Fast and Furious where guns were actually allowed to get into Mexico? No, I absolutely agree. I mean, this is something even much more serious. Are you surprised that it hasn't gotten to that, or do you think that it will? Look at Daryl Issa and some others who seem quite determined to push it there. Well, Senator Grassley and uh, Congressman Issa have done a a good job of pushing this because that's what their job is. Uh, How uh, the stonewalling of the Obama administration has uh, been covered up so much by the press it's against the law to uh, ignore congressional subpoenas, uh, and the subpoenas have been answered with an entire blackout pages of documents from the Obama administration. If any other person did that in court, they would be held in contempt. Uh, they would be charged criminally. But isn't that amazing that they ask for documents and they're completely and entirely blacked out? Yeah, and why is that? How can we how can we break through? Because that's outrageous. It is so disgustingly outrageous, and and really, this is why we have in the First Amendment of the United States Bill of Rights that we have freedom of the press, so that the press will go after these sort of things. That is a protection of freedom. It's not so we can read uh, how the NBA is on strike or they're on lockout. It's so that the press will protect. Our God-given rights and our constitution. Oh, absolutely, republic. absolutely! Look, we have to be the watchdogs. I mean, that's exactly. what, that's why you we're are. here. Hey, sheriff, stay with us. We're going to go to a quick break. I'm going to have a lot more with you when we come back. We're talking with Sheriff Richard Mack, former sheriff of Graham County, Arizona, here on the Rita Cosby Show. Eight hundred three two one eight eight two eight. And this is the Rita Cosby Show. Did you hear? President Barack Obama on Jay Leno the other night. He was pretty funny uh, talking about the show Survivor and equating it to the GOP debates. Have you been watching the GOP debates? Um, I'm going to wait until everybody's voted off the island. Once once, once they've narrowed it down to, to one or two, I'll start paying attention. Yeah, I actually thought it was quite a clever response, but uh, if you look at where things are right now, he may be voted off pretty quickly. Some of the new polls that are coming out, CBS News, New York Times poll, the question is, is the U.S. headed in the right direction? 74% say no. 
twenty percent say yes. That is going to be hard for any incumbent president to beat. If you think about it, seven out of every ten Americans saying, and that's including Democrats and Republicans, that this country is going in the wrong direction. We continue now with Sheriff Richard Mack. We're also taking your calls. The number is one eight hundred. 321-8828, 1-800-321-8828 here on the Rita Cosby Show. Um, Sheriff Mack, that's a huge amount of the American public, you know, in just extreme discontent. Um, I mean, those are big, big numbers. And, and as you point out, uh, no matter how they feel about them or whatever the case is, if they don't have money in their pockets, if they're concerned about other people, you know, friends, relatives, neighbors, um, you know, out of work for now an extended period of time, um, the economy's hitting everybody. And that, and people at the end of the day, when they go to the polls, they're going to think of what's in their pocketbooks, don't you think? I, I do. And, uh, Barack Obama cannot any longer uh, pretend that it, this is not his economy. Uh, blaming Bush is over. It got real old the first year. Uh, and everything he has said to us, in fact, his motto right now is we just can't wait. Well, that's what he said. Every time he tried to shove uh, health care down our throats, our otherwise healthy throats, I might add, uh, the bailouts, anything he has done, it has been a humongous uh, legislative uh, voluminous bill, 2,000 pages for one bill. I mean, that's absurd. Um, but regardless, everything ha- is a national emergency to get it done right now. We've got to get this bailout right now, folks. And his sales approach has been fantastic, but the, the, the real substance of the bills have been lacking in uh, constitutionality and have had nothing to do with bettering our economy or helping our country get back to work uh, because he doesn't understand one basic principle. You cannot spend money you don't have. Right, right. And and meanwhile, he's talking about, and finally, you look, even on the health care, he backs up on his own plan. Oh, wait, 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 that's too expensive. Even he's realizing uh, that his own plans are overreaching. Sheriff, stay with us. We're going to go to a quick break and come back with Sheriff Richard Mack, former sheriff of Graham County, Arizona, here on the Rita Cosby Show. 800-321-8828. We had two choices, Bill. We could either kick these individuals to the curb and then pick up the cost of what it was going to, to be at that particular point in time, because the federal government requires us to give them education, to give them uh, the health care. We made the decision in Texas, and this is a straight-up state issue that people of the state of Texas, and it, it passed out of 181 votes, only four dissenting votes, that we wanted tax payers, not tax wasters. And that's the reason that Texas did this. That was Governor Rick Perry last night on the O'Reilly Factor, talking to Bill O'Reilly, explaining why he had said before that Texas, which he says, of course, did happen, subsidized illegal immigrants' kids. And he's saying that it was an economic issue versus the cost of kicking them out, getting them in the state so they could be taxpayers. We continue now with former sheriff of Graham County, Arizona, Sheriff Richard Mack. Sheriff Mack, as as a guy who obviously uh, feels it's important to be tough on border issues and illegal immigrants, what's your reaction to this? Uh, What's your impression of Rick Perry and how he's handling it now? Well, I I actually moved to uh, Texas just a few months ago. Uh, lived most of my life in Arizona. As you mentioned, I was Graham County Sheriff. Uh, and now I'm in Texas and working uh, all over the country. As I mentioned, I, I travel all over the country uh, speaking. Uh, the, the freedom groups in Texas uh, do not support Rick Perry. They do not consider him a real conservative. Um, other pundits across the country have called him a, a real conservative. I do not. Uh, I find myself drawn uh, to Ron Paul, and I actually find myself drawn to uh, Mitt Romney, uh, and I don't consider him a staunch conservative either. No, you don't. You don't. But you uh, think, and listen, we just have a few seconds left. Uh-huh. Uh, do you think Rick Perry helped himself by trying to clear it up and make it sound like it was an economic issue, not a have a heart issue? Uh, no, he didn't. And I, I do like Rick Perry's little postcard uh, tax return thing, but that's about the only thing I think he's come up with that really works. Yeah, and, and it's interesting. People are looking at it and saying, oh, it's simple, it's easy. Uh, it'll yeah. be interesting to see if he changes in the polls because right now he is pretty low on the poll, Sheriff. Thanks so much. It's always great to have you with us, Sheriff. We'll be Thanks right for, back on the Rita Cosby Show. Thank Thanks. you.